So ANC earbuds are my favorite genre to cover and really I'm excited to see how this genre evolves and whether or not there are companies that can rival the big boys. Today we're taking a look at Aki's take on the ANC earbuds and I'm really excited to see how they'll perform. Welcome to a review of the Aki EPN7. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of hack reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Aki EPN7. Today's unit is graciously sent over to me from Aki, but although they have sent me these earbuds, as usual, I'll still be providing you my honest opinion so you know everything you need to know about these earbuds before buying them. These earbuds retails for about US 50 and that's about 200 Malaysia Ringgit. Pretty regular price for an entry to mid-level ANC earbuds, but from Aki, I'm really excited to see if this is any good. If you're interested in buying these earbuds, do check out my links in the description below. So Aki has always built great looking functional products and if you look at most of their products, you'll see that most of their earbuds looks pretty cool. And the design of the EPN7 is nothing new and we've seen this design around before and one notable one is the Ugreen Hytune T1 which kind of has a similar earbud style. So the overall case is made of this rubberized texture which feels nice and solid overall and I would hope that the case feels a little bit heavier as it will give these earbuds a heftier, more premium feel. At the top of the case, you get the Aki branding there nicely blended into the case design and at the back of the case, you get a Type-C charging port and plug it in and the four LED indicators at the front of the earbuds will indicate that the earbuds is charging. And the LED also serves as the battery indicator of the case and Aki makes it look super classy with that light and it's so smooth and subtle, it's not like those blinding LED lights, so really cool execution there. And inside you see the earbuds laying flat and very similar to the styling of the Hytune T1 and also the TWS NB2 from Edifier. And the earbuds are finished with a matte grey colour with black accents overall and I particularly like the styling of the touch sensor because the LED just graciously pulses inside it, giving it a super cool look. And on the stem itself you see the Aki branding uh, at the bottom here and flipping it around you see the large housing here that stores all the battery and the drivers of the earbuds which gives these earbuds a very nice comfy ergonomic so this entire thing actually sits inside the ear really nicely and for a pair of modern anc earbuds i think the battery life of the epn7 could be a little bit better at the time of review, I don't see any specifications splitting the battery life for ANC on or ANC off, but Aki does claim a 5 hours of battery life and with the case gives the earbuds an additional 20 hours of juice. So the earbuds takes about 1.5 hours to charge up and the case takes about 2 hours to fully charge. So the EPN7 comes with a standard Bluetooth 5.0 chipset which provides support for both AAC and SBC audio codec, which is pretty normal for earbuds today but nothing that blows your mind. The earbuds also comes with a pretty good IPX5 water resistant rating which is pretty much the standard for any ANC earbuds nowadays. So you shouldn't worry if you sweat on them or bring them running in the rain so this should be protected enough. And the EPN7 also supports a super seamless mono and stereo switching mode and works super nicely and it does take about one second to boot up the other side when you take it out from the case uh, but considering this is 5.0 chipset that's pretty normal lastly from my test there is no multi-point connectivity on these earbuds so Aki has a reputation for making pretty good quality ANC earbuds and a very popular one that many looks for is the EPN5. So similarly, the EPN7 is also pretty good considering the price. So the new Aki also gives you a nice hybrid ANC technology that uses external and internal mics to cancel out as much of the surrounding noises as possible. And from a day-to-day -day use perspective, this earbuds really does provide you with sufficient ANC performance. It does a good job cutting out constant 
low humming noises, but certain inconsistent high pitch noises don't get cut out all that well. And conveniently, when I was testing these earbuds, it started to rain, and the rain noise hitting the awning still gets through quite a bit. But with music playing, it does get better, but definitely still audible. Transparency mode on these earbuds is also very natural sounding and doesn't feel like it's overly amplifying the surrounding. However, the downside of a softer projection means that if you're blasting your music, you still don't get to hear your surroundings. So just to summarize, if Bose manages around 90% of ANC effectiveness, the Edifier TWS NB2 and the Earfun Air Pro both manages about 80%, then the EPN7 gives a pretty good 70%, which is the similar performance to the Transmart Apollo Bulb, and the EPN5, which is the older brother of this one, is about 65% effective. So sound quality of the EPN7 is no doubt super good and similar to the likes of Soundcore, I think Aki is one company that does really well at sound tuning. So bass on the EPN7 is very deep, focusing more on the sub bass and punchiness of the bass and it doesn't rumble like some other earbuds but you get that deep bass sensation which is really nice. I don't feel much of a problem with the clarity of the earbuds and giving very good balance on the mids and highs. Vocals also seem to be projected really nicely but I do notice that instrument sound stands a little bit forward compared to vocals do. Soundstage and projection is also really good on these earbuds with good imaging overall so you can clearly hear where each sound is coming from and closing your eyes and listening to these earbuds are really enjoyable. The call quality of the EPN7 is also very good and the voice does come through very clearly and using these earbuds for phone calls in quiet environments is really good. Background noises don't get eliminated that much but your voice still comes through nice and clearly. So let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is a test to see if the Aki EPN7 is a good earbud for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there is a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think of the call port? Let me know in the comment section down below. Latency on these earbuds is okay, but honestly not the best I've heard, and it's typical to the Bluetooth 5.0 era type of earbuds, and watching movies and videos is really nice, but FPS games like PUBG does see a minor delay. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. Apart from volume controls, the EPN7 does give you quite a complete set of controls. So to play or pause media or pick up phone calls, tap once on either side of the earbuds and it will play on pause your media or pick up phone calls. And to skip tracks forward, double tap on your right earbuds and it will skip forward and double tap on your left earbuds to skip backwards. To toggle between the different ANC mode, press and hold either side of the earbuds and it will toggle between ANC on, transparency mode and ANC off. And lastly, to call out your assistant, triple tap on either side of the earbuds and it will pause your media and pull out your assistant. So that's where you can get your assistant to control control your volume of the earbuds. So that's all of the controls you get with the EPN7. So for a budget friendly ANC earbuds, I think this is pretty solid, modern looking, has a very comfortable fit and sounds extremely nice. So if you're considering getting a budget ANC earbuds, definitely give this a thought. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.